Hello guys, it's from Physics here and welcome to a brand new video where today I'm going to be voicing my opinions on Call of Duty teams and CSGO teams, just FPS teams in general and kind of what I think about the whole thing and stuff like that. Um, so, this kind of topic came to my head just because I needed an idea for a video to make today and um, these awesome guys over at Phoenix were, I've been like, sending some love over to my videos which I'm quite happy about um, and but yes it just kind of led me into my mind of Call of Duty teams and just CSGO teams sort of thing um, and my whole view on the thing is people can do what they want to be honest like they can make a team I don't I'm not really fussed about it but I mean as long as you're not gonna pee anyone off with that team I'm fine. Like, if it doesn't bother me, it's fine. I don't really see myself joining the team because I'm not really a professional at any of these games. So, seeing me in a Call of Duty or a CSGO team will most likely never happen because I'm quite bad at the main sort of team based areas of these games. I mean, like, zombies I'm alright at, surfing I'm alright at, but none of them really are games you'd want to make a proper team out of because there's no real competition to it if that makes any sense. So I mean like, you know, um, one of my friends is in a Black Ops 3 team actually, um, Wacker Psycho, I don't know if you know him, but he's in a Call of Duty team and they are CWL hopefuls. They want to try and get into CWL when they're old enough and I don't really mind it as such, but it's just... I don't know, I kind of find it funny sometimes, the idea of having a proper team. Like, because the way how seriously some people treat, like, small-scale teams, like, they could be in a small-scale team but think they're, like, the best in the world. It's hilarious. But, um, I don't really have anything against COD teams, but it's just, you know. As long as, like, the people aren't cocky and arrogant, I honestly, like, don't really mind them. And like, if I, even if I was invited to join a team, I would maybe that would it would all depend actually. It, when the time came, how I was feeling about it, and um, depends how much they want me to put into that team. Like, if they wanted me to put in a lot into that team, I don't know. It would depend how much sort of effort they want me to put in, how much content they want me to put out, and stuff like that. Because, I mean, I definitely wouldn't want to leave this channel in the dust. But, I mean, like, to play for a team would be pretty cool. Because I'd have a group of friends that I could always rely on playing together with and stuff like that. But, you know. I mean, like, like I said, joining a team is a very unlikely thing for me. Because I'm not very good at the competitive aspects of both Black Ops 3 and CSGO. So, you know, seeing me in, like the MLG Columbus will never happen or like the COD World League will never happen because I'm just not cut out for being amazing at the multiplayer versions of these games but having that said I am definitely getting better like I don't know what seems to be about it but like free for all seems to be going pretty well for me I haven't played free for all in a really long time so my skills are probably rusty, but my CSGO f deathmatch is going pretty well, and that's quite similar to free throw in a sense. Because even though you're playing as a team, you're still trying to aim for the highest score, if that makes sense. And I mean, there's usually a team imbalance, there's usually more T than there is CT, because everyone wants to use the AK, because that gun is OP as fuck. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that's something interesting and I know I've repeated a lot of stuff in this episode I'm just trying to think of other things to talk about but like if you're in a COD team and like someone makes a joke about it they're probably just messing around like I always do it with my friend he always says stuff about his team and stuff and that I just make like silly jokes about it and stuff and um but you know good for him if he does make it somewhere because a lot of these tournaments like big league tournaments they can earn you a lot of money and you know 
it's pretty good to get a hold of some of that. Like, Cod World League, I think, is like a million odd pounds or something like that you'll get out of it. Absolutely ridiculous sums of money you can pull out of these events. And it's literally just from playing, like, your standard match of Call of Duty or CSGO, but you're playing against professionals. That's the only thing that's really different. And so, yeah. It's kind of ridiculous thinking about it, though. But, like, I mean... Yeah. I think that's pretty much all I have to talk about in this video. If you did enjoy, like, if you're new, subscribe, very appreciate it as well. And if you're a team, and you want to hit me up, you know, just send me a little comment on this video, or hit me up on Instagram or Twitter or something like that. You know.